Hi, my name is Stuart Bruce. I'm GIS Program Coordinator at Washington College, and I'm going to give you a short lecture on map layouts in ArcGIS. This is part of our GT101 course, which can be found online at geoworkshops.org. Now, to talk about uh, maps, we have to ask some questions. So what elements do you think a good map lay layout requires? What would you start with? Well, we believe that the map would be an excellent place to start with, and in fact, the most important reason why you're doing the layout. And remember, when you're doing a layout, that the map itself should always be the largest element on your layout. It's the most important thing. That's why you're doing it. So you don't want to make the map small. You want to make it as big as possible. Now, looking at this example, we have a layout that has a small map, a giant north arrow, and a small legend versus the option on the right-hand side where the map is the largest element. So since that's what people really want to look at, you want to make it really big. If necessary, you might even change the orientation of the map to highlight uh, what you'd like to do. And I'm going to show you in my live demo of how to make a map layout, how you can also rotate the map to maximize the potential size of the map in your layout. Another important consideration, how about a title? All maps should have title. Um, what we were looking at before was in York County, so that's why it says map of York County, PA. So you've got to have a title. Some other considerations uh, that are always on maps um, are as follows. You need to make sure that you have a north arrow so you know which direction is up on the map. A lot of people in America always assume that north is the top of the map, but if you rotate the map or something like that, this is not always the case. So it's usually important to include a north arrow. You should have a scale bar so people can um, basically be able to do measurements off the map that you print out. Or you could choose to use what's known as scale text. Now scale text is really a ratio, and this basically means that one unit on the map is equivalent to X number of units on the ground. In the case of the scale text shown in this example, uh, 1 to 92,320, if our units of measurement were inches, for example, then one inch on the map would be equivalent to 92,320 inches on the real ground. Another important thing to have on your map is a legend. So if you have different data layers on your map with different colors and different symbols, you need to have a legend so that people can interpret what the symbols mean on your map. A data source is always useful to have. So if you're getting data from uh, either a single source or a variety of other sources, it's important to list where this data came from. Maps are often produced as part of a report, but maps can also be separated from the report. So you really want to make sure that the map has everything that a person needs to interpret the map and where the data came from is an important consideration. Not a bad idea to uh, put the author name on there. Now, if you're an individual working as part of a large organization, uh, you might just put the organization name here, but you want to take some credit for the map. And um, if you didn't know this, uh, map makers are also called cartographers. Now, finally, uh, it's always a good idea to put a logo on your map. Uh, we're looking at here at the logo for the Center for Environment and Society, uh, which the GIS program at Washington College is part of. And we also have a little logo just for our GIS lab. And we put these on every map that we make. So people know who did it, and they'll start to recognize our product to differentiate it from other people's products. So this is a professional example of a map. 
and with all the parts you can have a professional map. So I'm going to open this up a little bit here. This is actually a map that we produced um, for the Kent County Chamber of Commerce. It's a tourism map. So this is showing uh, actually one of several maps that we made showing the details of Chestertown, Maryland. So with our proper elements, the legend, data source, scale text, our scale bar, a north arrow, a title, and either your name or the logo of your organization, you can have everything you need for the production of a successful map. This is another example from our Chamber of Commerce. This is showing all of Kent County, Maryland. We're actually starting to do a little bit more of these lately. Uh, we just uh, finished one up for Caroline County, for example. And then finally, the arrangement is very important. So your elements all need to be sized appropriately. Uh, your map needs to be the largest element. Um, and you've got to make sure that you have a large enough map surface to show the detail necessary for someone to interpret uh, your map. You do have an option where you can save your work as a template. So let's say you're working for an organization, perhaps the uh, Baltimore City Transportation Department. Well, if you want to have a uniform product coming out of your department, uh, your GIS professional, um, someone that probably knows more about GIS than you do, could assist you in creating a template that all the users in the organization could utilize every time they make a map. Then when you produce maps and print them out, you have this really nice organizational look. All your maps are uniform, and they have all the appropriate information that you need to make sure that you include on every map. So templates are a really a good way to go. And again, this is uh, sort of reinforcing what I just said. Uh, it really makes your maps easily recognizable as coming from you. Now, in theory, if you make a map really in a big hurry, and it's really not that good looking of a map, but it just uh, is meant uh, for some emergency or something like that, you might skip the template, then you have plausible deniability if someone goes, who made this horrible map? You can go, well, it doesn't have our logo on it, so I'm not sure where that came from. Well, that ends my relatively short lecture on map layouts, and I'm also going to do a live demo, so I encourage you to watch that. Uh, that's going to be a separate video. Thank you, and have a nice day.